Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, November 19th, 2021. Well, my goodness, we are getting closer and closer and closer to Thanksgiving holiday. And yesterday we had just a little bit of an interesting um, move in the market with industrials struggling just a little bit early on in the day. But tech, boy, particularly big tech, surging big time to set some new record highs. Well, what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these um, index charts, see if we can get some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Because we do have an interesting mix of data here that, well, it's just one of those things that make you say, hmm, um, I wonder what happens next. Let's take a look here. If you... Um, look here at the Dow. We finished the day yesterday with a, a nice little hammer pattern. And that nice little hammer pattern happened to come in right there. We just kind of split a, a little tiny support area as those bulls came rushing back in the day, pushing it back up. But look what's happening this morning. Oh my goodness. What's going on? Well, first off, um, Europe is running into some trouble. Apparently, they're going to go back into some COVID lockdowns, uh, complete, full um, lockdowns. Austria is moving into a full lockdown. More restrictions over there happening. And all of a sudden, that really started to um, hurt the sentiment over there. European markets are red across the board this morning, and we're seeing that have a negative effect on um, industrials here this morning. So take a look at this. If we were to hold this area, I think we could be in pretty good shape. Notice we get this little downside wedge. We have officially made a lower high and a lower low. And now this morning following through to the downside could be a little bit problematic if we were to break this level of price support. Then what we want to look for is a test of this level down in here. And you can see it wouldn't be a big stretch for us to move down in there. What you want to notice is that we've kind of given up this trend and we now have established a downtrend. So watch that carefully. We could easily push down into that level and then we'll see if we can get um, those bulls to step in and defend and push us back up. It would be a critical failure. Um, if we were to fail through that price support, because that puts us in a situation where we could come all the way back down into here. And obviously that would be a rather painful sell off for the market and could trigger some other selling across the indexes. Let's take a quick look at the SPY. Now, SPY had a good day yesterday, but oh boy, it was a little bit of a struggle. We had some selling there initially, and then with a big shove in big tech, we were able to squeak out, and I mean squeak out by a tick or two, a new closing record high. I mean, just a, just squeaked it out. And this morning, we're looking at um, a little bit of bearishness here, but not too bad because we still have big tech surging um, to the upside. So um, as that is trying to push up, we're seeing just a little bit of bearishness coming in to the SPY this morning. Now, what that could set up is that possibility of a rejection of this high. That could be problematic for the market as well if that is seen as kind of the exhaustion move or that double top um, pattern in the market. Not saying that's the case, but we'll want to watch carefully for that possibility. And then keep in mind, pulling back, there really is no price support at all until we um, reach this area. And that is a very small area of price support. So if the bears were to push really hard, um, watch down here. Um, I'm not saying we're going to go there today, but that could be a problem if this area 
fails here in the market. So watch that closely. Um, SPY might be an interesting one to keep a keep an eye on today. Let me show you why I think this is really interesting. If you guys take a look, this is a heat map. Let me shrink that up so you can see the whole thing. This is a heat map for the S&P uh, 500. And I still need to shrink that up some more. And in that S&P 500 heat map, you can see in here that the majority, the vast majority of everything that moved yesterday was the big tech. So we had Google and Alphabet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And a little bit of Home Depot help in there, seven, that really moved the market yesterday. Um, that's the S&P 500. Notice that the vast majority was sideways to down. So that's what I'm talking about. It was a real mighty shove by big techs that Matt managed to get that done. And this morning we're looking at that that little problem. I'm going to show you a couple of more uh, things here that make you go, hmm, uh, interesting, interesting uh, market. And then we take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is, um, really made a big push with um, Google, Microsoft, um, Apple, um, Tesla pushing back up and notice that we're trying to gap higher this morning here again in that big tech sector. Now it'll be interesting to see if we can continue to have the entire market lifted by just those very few companies or if that starts to create some problems because it begs the question what happens now if big tech starts to sell? You got to wonder that carefully, but we did make new record highs. So if we push down, if we push down in the market, watch for a little um, price support right in there. And if we push and fail that level, watch for price support there. Now, the uncomfortable thing here in the NASDAQ is we really don't have major price support until we come all the way back down to here. That would be a rather painful sell off. But right now, let's just worry about this level right in here. If we were to push back below there, that could be a little bit of a problem in the market. Let's take a look at the Russell. Now, the Russell on uh, yesterday, I had mentioned that I wasn't too con too worried about the Russell unless it fell below this level. We did fall below that level, but ended up holding it at the end of the day. But take a look at the pre-market. Uh, pre-market is pushing that down. We do have that official downtrend in place with the lower high, lower low coming in, but we still may be okay if we can find some support off of this upside trend. However, if that were to give up here, then we start running into some serious rejection potential uh, of these highs here in the Russell. And if we were to push down and then rally back and find resistance at that lower high area, that could be problematic. So watch that carefully in the chart. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, um, while we set new record highs yesterday in the SPY and the QQQ, notice that the VIX went up. So a little bit of contradiction here. That's why you just kind of have to go, wow, this is really odd that we can just push up very select companies and set those new record highs where the majority of stocks weren't doing all that well. So watch that carefully, that little bit of fear starting to creep in um, into the market there. Notice that we have some price resistance in this chart, however. So it is entirely possible that if we can keep those bulls running here, that we kind of drift um, back down in this chart and we could even fail that upside trend. However, if we do push through this level up here this morning and then we start to hold some higher lows, that could be a little bit of a problem here for the market. So watch carefully for that possibility. If those bears, we have a light day, a very light day, and I'm going to show you that here in just a second on um, earnings and economic news. So if those bears get feisty, it may be a little bit difficult for the bulls to find enough inspiration to defend. Let's take a look at our T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. One of the things that happened yesterday as we pushed down um, in the market, we came down here and our T2122 came down here and did a nice little kiss of this bullish reversal zone. And then we rallied back yesterday, as you saw, 
in that chart. But closing the day yesterday, what that means um, as we rallied back up is it means that we left a little bit of an open door opportunity for some more downside. And we may be seeing that this morning in that pre-market. So don't be, don't rule out the possibility that we could see a little bit more downside pressure here and that we could end up down here in that bullish reversal zone. At the same time, can't rule out the possibility that if those bulls are strong enough and if we can find reason for inspiration, then we could uh, push right back up here um, into that bear, um, bearish reversal zone. We have plenty of upside potential if we can get that going. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now this is where it, it kind of has to make you shake your head a little bit and, and ponder what's actually happening here in the market. When I said we had more stocks declining than we did going up, notice that this is the T2120, uh, T2107, which is the percentage of stocks above their 200 day moving average. And notice that we declined pretty sharply yesterday. And as a matter of fact, I mentioned that I wasn't too worried about this unless we failed through that uptrend. We've done that about 45% of the companies is all that we have right now holding above their 200 day moving average. So setting new record highs, more stocks sliding below their 200 day, giving up some price support. That's a big problem. And if we take a look at T2108, and I wish they made this um, indicator as a um, 50 day moving average rather than a 40 but that's what we have to deal with here notice here that we also had more stocks sliding below that 40 day moving average um, and breaking that uptrend here as well in that indicator and we continue to maintain this downtrend here with fewer and fewer stocks as we set new record highs in the market um, with the ability to stay up above their 40 day moving average. That's a little bit of a problem here. And if that continues, that could signal the, um, some trouble, uh, coming trouble here in the market. We take a look at T2101, which is the absolute market breadth in the market. We had a little teeny tiny tick, tick up yesterday in that absolute breadth. And this notice we're down here scraping along the bottom of the barrel. Um, um, when we get those kick back up um, in that, it tends to be that bearish move that kicks us back up. So it, it's not going to be a problem unless we break above that downtrend, I think, and hold a higher low. That's where we could really run into trouble. So watch that closely. Don't be too surprised with this kick up this morning. We might have a little bit of a spike in um, absolute breadth. Let's take a look at our... Um, economic calendar for today and our economic calendar what i was mentioning is just extremely light there's nothing in here of consequence as you can see here um, we have a couple of fed speakers today um baker hughes rig count um and a quarterly survey i, I mean services survey um wow uh, uh one of the deadest days on the economic calendar we've seen for a while so that could be interesting. No, no inspiration here to move the market. And then if we take a look at our earnings calendar, we only have nine confirmed or verified reports this morning. And um, the majority of those are very, very small, um, insignificant um, stocks that nobody's going to care. Um, however, we do have a couple of notables and only two notables today. Take a look. Foot Locker reporting today. Looks like Foot Locker um, had a little bit of an interesting um, response to those earnings. So keep a close eye on that. We've got Foot Locker reporting and we've got the buckle. BKE is whoops. BKE is reporting today and it's been really strong and it is surging to the upside. So not exactly big notables or big market moving events today. So it will be interesting to see how this market responds if we get that bearish push to the downside. Will there be enough will there be enough um, in, in inspiration and uh, bullish energy to continue to fight or defend 
or will we have that little bit of a market break here heading into the weekend? Watch carefully for that possibility. So with that, how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up but before uh, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, well, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. And also make sure you click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment if you feel that the video was helpful to you. I also want to just say thank you, uh, just a huge thank you. We're going to see some changes to the channel. I'm kind of excited about um, a few of the changes um, that are coming. I'm doing some testing right now. And I got to tell you, uh, the folks who continue to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link just below the title of the video, truly, truly appreciate it. You've, uh, you have helped in making uh, this possible. And I, I, Truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to be pretty darn careful today. Even though we look at some of these charts, by golly, uh, we may have some major problems um, if those bears really take over uh, today. So let's keep an eye on that. First off, I want to mention gold and silver. Um, I've been talking about that. It looks like we're getting a little bit of a push here in gold this morning, and it may be just that little fear of, of um, inflation continue to, to come in. And we have Congress moving forward with their Build Back Better bill that um, uh, I guess um, has been graded now as going to add a lot to the national debt. Um, so, uh, you know, more spending, um, I think everyone is kind of thinking more inflation. And if they happen to pass that, um, that could be interesting. So right now, you, as you can see, gold surging a little bit here this morning. Keep a close eye on that. This breakout up here was pretty important. And uh, right now, we seem to have the ability to hold that level, um, um, holding some consolidation in here. So watch that. And then if we take a look at silver, silver um, also, it's been pulling back a little bit, but we're holding that neckline in here. So I would keep an eye on that. Now, one thing I do want to mention, and the reason I brought this up is if the market really sells off hard, you can expect gold and silver to get drawn into that selling. So if you're holding these, just be um, thoughtful that that may be the case. We could see those uh, begin to pull back. Let's take a look um, at some other stocks here this morning. I've been kind of surprised at the strength in retail. Take a look at Macy's. My goodness, Macy's had an earnings report. We're really spiking this up to the upside, but right now, um, when we look at a lot of these retail stocks, they're holding in some interesting patterns, breaking down trends, holding the higher low, potentially setting up. We see Kohl's um, really stretching out here yesterday, moving higher, trying to push through. So you might want to take a look at some of that retail out there. Now we've had some big giant um, retail like Target struggle just a little bit here recently after um, after their report. But, uh, you know, as you can see, um, they're struggling just a little bit while some of the smaller um, retailers like oh, TJX and things like that have been surging, looking really good. Take a look at Under Armour uh, pushing to the upside. So there's quite a few um, in that tech sector that could be um, very strong and very interesting. And next week, um, I think we have, yeah, we're going to have a Dollar Tree um, reporting next week. So some of these, um, uh, you know, discount um, retailers may have some more upside opportunity in them as well. So watch that carefully and closely. Um, one of the things you might want to, if you're thinking about a little bit of bearish or downside move, take a look at Boeing here. Boeing um, had this had this trouble. We, we broke this downtrend here, and then we ran up into this really large area of price resistance. And notice we're showing a little bit of a failure pattern here, and we may be giving up this trend. So watch that closely. If we start seeing some of these big industrials uh, 
start to pull back, there could be some problems in the overall market. So if you're looking for some short trades, that might be a place to look. Other places that um, might be a place to look on that short side, um, take a look at PayPal. Um, PayPal tried to move back up after its disappointment in earnings, found some sellers pushing down that possibility that it may break this support in here, continue on down to test the next levels here in the chart. PayPal not looking good. Visa, oh my goodness, Visa has just been pounded down here in the market. Watch carefully for that. Now, of course, if you're looking for um, buying opportunities and things like that, you're going to have to look probably into that tech sector. Um, Apple had a just an unbelievable surge yesterday. Unbelievable to set new records um, in that move to the upside. So keep an eye on Apple. Um, uh, just... <laughs> a phenomenal push into that chart it makes you wonder how many more folks are going to be willing to um, chase or buy that up um, but i think this needs a rest or pullback now in that chart to get a little bit of break so watch some of those texts they're really stretching uh to the upside um take a look at um, we had this bullishness that was showing up here in some of the casinos and I'm beginning to wonder if the reemergence of COVID in Europe and things like that are starting to have an effect here. Notice that LVS selling off. We had um, Wynn uh, produce some nice earnings reports but, uh, but doggone it not holding um, that little upside trend. So a little bit of problem showing up in some of those stocks. So guys, be really, really careful out here today. Um, right now, Dow futures are down 246 points. Um, that could pull tech down as well. So watch carefully for that. It's also possible we gap down this morning and then just immediately see buyers rush into the market. That's what we've seen lately. Um, no price, you know, and every sell off just gets immediately bought. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to watch. Uh, I want to wish you a fantastic day and I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Be safe out there. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. I wish you all of the best.